right, so you guys have seen some of the videos we've done with the robot, with the camera moves. Something you might not have known about the robot is it can get software updates, which is pretty sick. So it actually does get better over time and it gets new capabilities. And there's this one new thing that it does that not all of you have seen yet that we want to show you. Andrew's been playing with it. It's got this update with an iPad where we can sort of carve out these moves in space. You'll see what I mean in a second. Vin and Brandon haven't seen it yet, so we'll just show them what it does right now. So, robot shot, we normally have to do it with the controller. This is gonna change everything and make everything we do way faster. Wow. I think that's an easy way of saying it. I can make a keyframe move. So this means when I come in here, I just take the iPad, I press all the different scenes I want it to stop on. So I can send this in to MP Studio and now it's on my timeline already. What? And it's a lot of times like you show me a storyboard, right? That's right. like, here's the four things and we're just yeah. gonna cut in between it. So yeah. you could do it there. What I also could do, we're going to press record and now it's recording everything. Move forward, loop around. We'll sway back another 180 degrees. This is a game and then we'll come back. That's an air. This tank. is what the robot oh, would do. Oh. Whoa. Just in case. Just to right. see like if it would knock into anything, right? Right. What I can also do though is in target, I can take this QR code that I printed uh. out, stick it right here, take the picture of the target, take this off. I can turn all of these into keyframes with smoothing on to kind of like, it'll go literally all the jitters. So I smooth oh. everything out. <laughs> what? Andrew is the robot. And that's tack focus right there. Oh, it pulls focus. <laughs> it pulls focus based on the target I have shown. This is calibrated for this lens so that yes. every time you do that, it's gonna Yeah, it's tw it. at 26 millimeters. That's the oh, only thing, or seeing perfect. in this, it knows it's, this right. camera is 26. Marquez, we need a powerful but, lens on this. <sighs> They make a par focal 18 to 35. And it's so totally not expensive. It's really affordable. Yeah, we need, yeah. It's yeah, under two yeah. grand. And anamorphic. <laughs> we need anamorphic it, lenses too. Maybe cook? We could. Maybe cook. We, uh, or maybe a second robot too while we're at it. <laughs> we always start a robot move with you guys showing me a storyboard and then having me adjust each frame with the controller. And then we go from there. You guys can come in here with the iPad now and just literally and literally start in. the rough draft of the move and then go in yeah. and change things. We didn't even we haven't even touched the controller and we've made two moves already. You're always previewing that at 26 millimeter though, just because that's what the camera right. feels like. Yeah. But we it doesn't mean we can't adjust anything afterwards. Sure. Everything gets turned into a keyframe essentially. Yeah. Yeah. But it kind of makes like the production aspect like move first. Mm -hmm and then we light around. Whoa. If you hit play over here. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's, that's what. So there's our camera cool. and we can get closer. And yeah, that's our lens. Scarlet w. I mean, you can even use this to go see if it's gonna hit anything. Oh. Cause you can go stand next to that light and see where the camera is gonna go. Wow. But still. So we just did that's pretty good. three moves in 10 minutes. Literally. Like it, it actually got my hesitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like it's yeah. kind of crazy how like when we create robot shots, it feels very linear and we work very hard to kind of bring the natural aspect back to the mm -hmm. shots. Whereas this, mm -hmm. we start with the natural aspect. Yeah, and then you can rework in the linear yeah. parts. Yeah, I have an idea. What's the idea? Galaxy S23 intro. Uh. Okay, so today we are shooting the S23 intro to the review. Um, we're kind of doing a skit intro because like the gimmick is that the S21, the S22, and the S23 all kind of look pretty much the same. The S22 and S23 specifically look almost exactly the same. So the skit is that it's this move coming down into what we assume is the S23, but it's actually the S22. And Marquez, once it lands, is like, oh wait, wrong phone. Swaps it out real quick. It goes back up to the starting position and then finishes the move again. Um, hopefully through editing, it's funny. Um, but it's three different shots that we're merging 
together. Um, and it's it's not gonna be too complicated, hopefully, uh, but famous last words. Just for reference, it's 325 right now. Um, we've never started a, ro started a robot shot this late before, because it usually takes all day. So um, we're gonna come back when we're recording and see how long this takes with the iPad versus the old method. So first things first, let's start up the iPad. We're in target mode. We think we wanna be in robot mode. Sure, I think it's, oh, okay. Okay, so from what I can gleam, um, Andrew is starting off with pointing this iPad at the QR code. The QR code is basically when I first calibrate it, I have to put the robot that matches where the robot is. So after I do that, I can set that position to that QR code. So every time I reopen the app and it needs to be calibrated again, I can just, that QR code is just basically saying like, this is where the robot is, hit done. And it's calibrated. I don't have to adjust it every single time. Got it, okay, got it. Roughly we'll start here and then we'll end like there. So now that we finished the move, do we adjust the target? So yeah, let's put the target in. Cool, if so you we take, take target that, yep. one and we put it on the phone, yeah? Yep, take it. Cool. Cool. Did it. Think nope, I did nope, it. you're good. So now if you come back, this is a move S23. Yep. I'm gonna take this. I think it's safe to say this move, we want it to be like very move, though, smooth, right? right? Oh yeah, you can move the target. Like incredibly smooth. Okay. So I'm gonna bring it in here and I'm gonna do the max smooth scale. Okay. Apply it and then convert everything to keyframes. Look at those keyframes populate, that's sick. We're gonna rehearse in a slower speed at first, although sometimes like we wind up doing it at like 50% the speed. Um, right now this is a 10 and a half second move, so it'll be about 20 seconds, but we can adjust all the keyframes in terms of time. No lighting, no adjustments on the phone yet, yeah. but... What are you talking about? This is the final framing. <laughs> okay, close. Okay, so now we switch to lighting. Vin, do you want to explain what's going on? Uh, we're going to go for like a noir look, so we're going to start by turning off the house lights. So let's do that. If you also want to see how the lighting's changing too, like this is super contrasting. Like, this is just one light so far. Yeah. So what's kind of crazy, which we've discovered, is like since we've used this paper so much over the years, there's like these creases that have occurred. But sometimes it actually kind of looks cool. Yeah, they're a little abstract and kind of lightning strikey looking. This is one of those moments. It actually kind of looks cool. The one thing I've noticed about this frame now, which I really like is there's this reflection happening on the top of the phone right here. And I, th I think it's probably That's from, from yeah, it's from those beams like reflecting upwards, but I really like it. I think it looks pretty cool. It also like accentuates the top design. I say we put all this together and see what it, see what it looks like. Quad cameras, a hidden stylus. It, oh wait, wait, hang on a sec. Yeah, no, that was the wrong phone, sorry. Being able to essentially create the move, not have to worry about the movement in between, target track, and then just get to use the coordinates over here to like dial everything in is so much easier. Because normally by the time I'm like adjusting coordinates, we're four and a half hours into a shoot. We're at 4.02 right now, so like half an hour maybe. Hey Marquez, do you want to shoot an intro? Oh yeah. Let's get it. Okay, so um, this is Marquez's first time seeing the move. Matt left glass. So oh, that, yeah. yeah that so it's gonna be like, oh wait, hold on. And then my phone's, my hand's gonna like come in the frame like, wait, hold on. And then I just like pick it up and then it leaves. Yep. I like it. Sick. A few moments later. Okay, friends, the time has finally come. We're about to actually shoot like a viable shot. Here comes the point where Marquez has zero margin for error. Uh, anyways. This has to be perfect or else we just scrap it. I mean, shot one is easy. I don't do anything for shot one. That's true. And then shot two, um, we'll see. Shot two, I'll just do my best to listen and, and hand act. No, no pressure or anything, but. Hand acting. To update like where we are right now, we're 510, so like an hour and a half in, which I think is much faster than normal. 
we have our move that we made with the iPad, then copy and pasted reversed, then copy and pasted normal. It's target tracked the whole way, so we didn't have to do any of that adjustment. And then I could do smart focus, but since we're like very close and there's very tiny planes of focus between the lens and the top and the Samsung logo on the bottom, I just did the keyframes for focusing. Um, so there we have it. We have the audio pumped in here. We've run the timing a few times. We're probably still gonna have to do some edits in post, but I think we're ready to go. So we're gonna do the first shot, which is one singular phone, run the whole thing through, and then we'll do the hand act. Matte black glass, aluminum rails, massive specs, quad cameras, a hidden stylus. Oh wait, wait. And then the other phone, which is right here, yep. and super clean and super shiny and shall remain that way. Okay, so using this handy dandy uh, thing. Go to the, the well, position to hide it. So, yeah, so. Oh, you or, did, no, you no, took a so, frame. No, I think that's I took a leader. frame. Oh. Um, I'm just making sure that this is roughly around the same positioning as oh, the before the shot. Okay, yeah. oh. You see, Image there's capture. a method to the yeah. madness, Image bruh. overlay. It's fine position-wise. I just want to make sure it's um, roughly in the same height. So, right. Yeah. I didn't realize how close they were. You're gonna have to like be very careful picking that up. Yeah. I mean, also, it's just that front boy. But make sure you have to pick it up and you have to make sure that you don't tilt it at all or else they'll see the thing taped to the back of it. So yeah, just pull forward. Yeah, I think I can yep. do it. Yeah, don't enter in too early because you'll make a big shadow. But uh, can I, I want to see it when I act. Yep. Massive specs, quad cameras, a hidden stylus. Hey. Oh, wait, wait. Hands. Hey, yeah, no, that was the wrong one. Sorry. Let's start that over. Yep. Cool. Matt, perfect. Glass. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Matte black glass, aluminum rails, massive specs, quad cameras, a hidden stylus. Hey. Oh, wait, wait. Hang on a second. Yeah, no, that was the wrong one, sorry. You can stop it over. Matt Black Glass. I think you nailed that. I think that was it. I but think you nailed let that. that linger, let that linger, let that linger. That's an intro linger. I think that's it. Oh, Jesus. That's a rapidy rapidy. All right, so the beginning of this video, I was explaining to Vin and Brandon, we were getting pretty excited, but I'm gonna explain to the viewer right now how intuitive this app is really. Um, I'm gonna try and make two robot moves in less than five minutes, something that would normally take us like four hours. So I'm even gonna time it on my watch and we can keep track. So come on. We're just gonna come in here, open the motorized precision app. I need to, oh, are we calibrated already? We're already calibrated into the robot so you can kind of see it in AR here. We're gonna use this as our first move. Start a new move. We're gonna call this one a keyframe move. I'll show you what a recorded one is in a minute. And I just wanna do a nice parallax around this coffee can. So I'm gonna take my first keyframe over here on the right side, go over to the left side, keyframe right there. And then in order for the camera to follow that coffee can the whole time, I have these QR codes with a little bit of tape on the back. I can just stick it right here Pick my target in the iPad app, see that. Now it knows this is what it's gonna follow. So I'm gonna send this to MP Studio. You can even see the camera, the fake camera right here a little bit. Um, pull this off, come over to MP Studio. It's already on my timeline right here. If you look closely, you can see we have a target and we have a straight line going across. So what I'm gonna do is, since I don't want a straight line, turn it into a bezier, it's called. Bring it back so it curves. Set my frames to target track, and then set my focus to smart focus on the target. And then I just Start the move. I'm gonna do it at 50% because I made it very fast here.
and there we go. Now, I would probably touch it up more if we were gonna actually send that to video, but the fact that we have a swipe around, a 180 essentially, that quickly is pretty amazing. Two minutes, 20 seconds. I'm gonna try and show you one more move. I'm going to first move the robot out of the way. And while that's happening, I'm going to start a new move. I just keep untitling them. I can't afford that time. Recorded. So this now, rather than keyframes, it will track all of my hand movements. So if I just want to go from right here, record, I want to zoom in, go left, maybe come down, come back up, go right, and then come over. Done. If you want to step back here real quick, you can actually see how the robot would move in the space to see if we're gonna bump into anything, which is really helpful because of how much we shoot close up. I'm wasting my time here. And then I'm going to target track it again. Set the target. Pull this off. Send this all to MP Studio. Now, because it's probably gonna be shaky because of my hands, I can smooth everything out in MP Studio already, convert everything to keyframes, make sure all these keyframes follow the target and make sure the focus follows the target. And now, That's the start position. And this is our move. And come back to the start. And there we go. Two moves. Four minutes, 40 seconds. I mean, all of those would be cleaned up before final and going into post, but I mean, those moves would have taken us hours and hours and both of those were done in under five minutes. So this app is gonna be a total game changer for us, I think is safe to say.